Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about a list of responsibilities that you have to follow being a responsible driver or the moment you step inside a car. Well, this video has been already made in Hindi and I'm making this video in English for the audience who do not understand Hindi. And now, for those who understand Hindi only, click on the link on your top right corner in the i button. So, let's continue the video and uh, as I said, you have to follow a list of responsibilities. I'm going to explain them one by one. First, let me give you an example. If you are a son, uh, and uh, there is a responsibility on your shoulder to fill up the water bottles and put them in freeze. If you don't do that, your mother is going to beat you black and blue. So, I don't think you are going to afford that. So, you are going to do your responsibility, you are going to fulfill them for sure. If you have a girlfriend, you have to behave like a responsible boyfriend. You have to take care of her. You have to take her to the lunch, dinner, movies, restaurant and on shopping etc. Because you have to be a responsible boyfriend, you have to behave at least. Now. The moment you sit on this driver's seat, this is the biggest responsibility because you are going to put your life and others' lives on the risk. Do you understand that? So, I am going to make you understand there is a list of responsibilities. I don't want to repeat this word again and again. Responsibility, I am going to, I'm fed up of that. I will start the video now. The first point. If you are driving the car, you have to be mentally and physically perfect. You can't afford that, that if you are not feeling well, if you are feeling lazy, you are lethargic, uh, okay, I'll try. Don't do that. Book a cab or ask anyone else to accompany you to drive the car. Ask anyone, uh, any of your family member or any friend to drive for you. But don't drive if you are not physically perfect. You are putting your life in danger as well as others' lives too, who are on the road to earn their bread and butter. It could be a cyclist, it could be a motorcyclist, it could be a pedestrian or any other car drives too. So, don't think about you think about others with a large vision now i will talk about the second point you have to be courteous and patient if someone ahead of you is dropping off the passengers like uh, the family members are getting out of the car they are getting inside the car so just wait don't honk again and again if you are seeing that the, there is a red light timer is around 30 seconds 40 seconds don't honk please don't honk it irritates a lot so wait for others too and respect their time too because nobody is there to wait just to, you know, okay, it's road, let's stop the car. I will wait for, uh, you know, the fellow behind my car to honk, then I will move. Nobody wants to stop at the red light or traffic signal, right? So don't uh, again and again. Everybody is in hurry. Everybody has to go for the college or the offices. So this is the second point, respect others' time and be patient and be polite at least. Don't argue with people on silly things. Third point, you should respect others' way. If you're driving a car worth 15 lakhs, uh, same rights that you own the other driver owing a car of 3 lakhs have the same rights so you should respect that you should respect a biker uh, I don't think a cyclist should be on a highway national highway so I can understand your point on that but uh, at least understand the way or the you know road rights that you own the other driver also has the same rights if you are going on a two way and the biker is coming then don't over the car ahead of you don't uh, cover the side of that motorcyclist because his life is in more danger in comparison to yours. You are driving in a four-wheeler, you are safe, you hit the brake pedal, you are safe. If he hit the brake lever or the brake pedal, he is in danger for sure. He won't be able to stop the car. So respect others' way, respect others' rights. That guy, that girl has the same rights, has the you know, same space on the road. Now the third point, concentration and avoid distractions. By being full attentive i mean pay attention to what's happening around you there's a crossing chances are a vehicle might come on the road and you won't be able to stop your car so just look ahead not just 100 meter look around 150 or 200 meters at least to look far objects okay so you have to be attentive you have to be mentally prepared for that that uh, in that case if anything happens you are fully prepared to you know control your car another point uh, in the same point i mean the sub point is Avoid distractions. Don't listen to loud music. If it's a busy highway, it's a congested area, it's a traffic because you are not going to listen to the market noise or like anything happening around your car. So don't listen to loud music unless it's an open highway. Okay. Uh, so pay full attention. If there is a vehicle parked on the left, chances are uh, a passenger can get off the car and come into your way. That vehicle might merge in your way. Uh, he does not see you. So he might merge his car on the road and it come into your way. It comes into your way so it, it's gonna be fatal if your car speed is 
you know higher so pay full attention what's happening around you keep up uh, keep your eyes wide open now under the same point i want to add uh, there is uh, this loud music was one distraction second it could be children third it could be your pets when i take my pet to the hospital i have to be extra careful because he might step uh, you know on my hand i'm using gear he might come into my way i'm operating gear and steering wheel so he might come forward if i hit the brake pedal uh, you know aggressively so he might come into the, in this cabin area so i have to be extra careful so you have to be extra careful too if you have children with you if you have pet with you next point i don't uh, remember the numbering avoid smoking drinking i don't know how people can smoke inside the car i feel like puking whenever i see anybody anybody uh, smoking drinking is like there is no harm to me if someone is drinking i'm sitting beside them there is no harm to me but if they are smoking the passive smoking might harm my lungs or whatever body part is you know uh, infected by that so i really hate that i have never tasted this things in my whole lifetime going to be 28 now so i don't even know the taste so i hate anyway and still if you are in the car don't smoke don't drink and i know you are not going to listen to me if you do these things so it's your life do your stuff but at least do it for you only if you are risking your life risk only your life not others lives if you are if you want to do that stop the car okay take it out of the road and do whatever you want to do with your life uh i'm no one to ask you to stop these things but at least stop this while you are driving also avoid using mobile phone i know there's a case when i was driving on national highway it was around 40 to 50 kmph i honked a little more somehow i passed the car overtook the car and i saw that the uh, that buddy driving the car was using mobile phone and i was thinking here why the hell is he using mobile phone on national highway still there there might be an emergency stop the car i know he can't stop the car on national highway in the middle but at least drive properly or use earphones or connect it to the media or the infotainment do anything but do anything with your life here i don't care do anything with your life don't uh, put others in problem just because of your stupid actions this is one point that i want to mention for sure next point don't be over confident don't be less confident uh either of these two puts you in a lot of trouble and danger if you are over confident yeah yeah i'll do that i will take a sharp j10 uh, i will take a power slide i will drift the car i will slide the car i will skid the car don't do anything don't put into any uh, don't put any other in danger just because of stupid acts again i am saying this i repeat don't put others life in danger just because of foolish acts don't drive aggressively when somebody is with you inside the car don't do that don't you ever do that so don't be all confident i have seen and it's uh, i even i am a victim of over confidence i did not uh, get harmed in that incident but yes i know that uh, over confidence always results in injuries or incidents and less confidence is also problematic oh oh it's going to hit my car i'm going to hit that car oh see 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 uh, is it going to hit that car it will definitely hit that car if you are less confident you should not come on the highway practice more and more on in the ground don't come into the traffic don't drive on national highway if you do not have enough practice next point you are not going to a fancy dress competition if you are driving a car obviously you are out of your school you are in, you might be in your college so don't wear anything that can restrict that can hamper your body movements while driving the car it could be your like a three piece suit you are wearing that and uh, you think that no yaar yeah, my shoulders are not able to move the way i want them to move and uh, my hand movement is restricted i can't steer properly so just put off that coat now don't wear any footwear that can restrict your foot movement if you are driving a manual car it could be problematic for you so uh, there is an incident i was wearing uh, boots i went to marriage and i could not drive so i wore uh, loafers and when i reached uh, the destination i wore boots and then again when i you know i was done with the marriage function i again wore the loafers because i was not able to drive wearing boots in short in a nutshell don't wear anything that can restrict your body movement your hand movement your leg movement don't wear anything because it could be fatal if you are not able to operate that specific part on specific time whenever it was required okay 10th <sighs> point i don't know the rem- uh, numbering but it's the last point you might be bored in this video but uh, the 10th point i will conclude the video with and the point is uh, i know if you are traveling two three people four people five people you might be having luggage with you accordingly so don't put the luggage on that parcel tray 
that partial tear that can uh, obstruct your view your rear view irm has been provided here for a reason so don't obstruct that view because you should know how to use this mirror okay put the luggage in the boot obviously you are going to put that if that is full you are going to put that on the partial tray but don't put there give that stuff to that person sitting on the seats that carry it in your lap don't put it on a partial it could be fatal i know when you will reverse the car you have the sensors and the reverse view camera but when you are driving in a forward motion you are not going to see anything through the glass so done i'm done with the video so these were some responsibilities that you should follow that you should at least keep in your mind while driving the car because i think this is the most tedious and the responsible job that anyone can ever do driving a car or driving a bus any automobile or any plane any ship anything that uh, uh, relates to others lives too so become a responsible driver for the sake of your life for the sake of your family for sake of other lives and their families too so let me know what do you think about these responsibilities and let me know what else do you have in your mind share in the comment section so that i can add up in the other video thank you so much